So here we have the walk around video for the Wattscraft micro jet rib. Tubes done by about inflatables, making it look flasher than it is. Bow line there, big handle for lifting and dragging. Towing eye there, 12 degree, 3 millimeter thick aluminium hull. A lot like normal Watts craft, but just really small. The hull itself is two meters long, and the whole boat is 2.4 from tip to tail back of the pump. It all rolls on a flash alloy trailer. You've got some beach wheels there, wheelies beach wheels for the sand here at Piha. Running a mighty high 2.5 PSI for maximum float. Got a couple of Ulrich straight profiles which the engine's bolted to and it gives it a bit of strength and lift. The chines there and the tubes are just glued straight on. Tony at about inflatables has put a bit of extra reinforcing on the bottom there for when we eventually get to use it in rivers. Beach trolley's bloody good. Matches the boat nicely. Come around here. There we go, here's the back, there's where you sit. Just got the temporary hour gauge and tachometer there for tuning. Fishing rod holder. The rail blazers here for more rod holders. Most importantly, Rolex for the oars. Those oars out when you get into trouble, inevitably, out in the sea when your engine doesn't start. It's 40 years old. Put your oar on like this. your way home. Gives you a bit more confidence. Coming around the back, here's the steering system. Pretty basic. And there's the, there's the steering tie rod. With a bit of bird pump hose. This is a stock JS300 pump with heaps of modifications and it's bolted up to a custom fabricated intake there. And then under the pump there's the fabricated intake with an aluminium grill. But not really much good for rivers. It's a little water telltale. Three, uh, two, 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 three hundred cranking amp lithium ultra bat batteries, which weigh bugger all. It's got a Mariner stainless wet pipe from the 80s, which has been modified to go straight out the back. And it's got the mighty JS300 one cylinder 300cc two stroke from a stand up jet ski from Kawasaki and it's got a newer SVN38 Makuni carburetor on it the steering's real simple it's just pull the lever back and forth and it steers the pump at the back. And then got a got the Kawasaki throttle there. To give you go in that. Now the big problem is there's nothing to hold on to. So it's real sketchy to drive. But I'll put a seat on with a back and that should help a lot. And come around this side. You can see that lever, the tight rod, just straight out the back of the hull. There's a fabricated <coughs> intake, as short as humanly possible. 
I think the whole motor length and everything comes in under half a metre long or less. Got the jet ski stop start switch here with a tether for when you're inevitably going to fall off because you can't hold on to anything. You can get the primer bulb, just like the jet ski. Crusty old electrics box there. And rod holder. Fuel lines run up under that welded in tube. Under a bit of hydro turf. A couple of quick disconnects when you need to take your can, fuel can out to fill it up. Fuel sitting on some sitting on some rubber. And it's got a strap around it holding it down. This is an outboard fuel tank and it's been modified to work like a jet ski tank. So it's got a fuel takeoff, fuel return, and then it's got a one way valve that just lets fuel in so it doesn't breathe. You leave the breather on the tank closed so it's actually airtight. It's got a little seat. Main tow rope here. And what else? Not much else under there. There's the primer lines. There it is. The dodgiest, lightest jet boat ever made. <laughs>